So up next, we're gonna have PK Dragoon and walk in on stream. So up next, uh, we got Walken versus PK Dragoon. Uh, these guys are both, well, new. PK Dragoon has never been ranked in Buffalo. Walken has one time, one season in, uh, in Smash 4, and PK Dragoon already living up to that number 10 title with a huge SD. That's great, he ain't coming back. Anyway, game one, um, Walken is already up on this, and you know, it's funny, he actually does struggle against, um, actually does struggle against Ness a lot. It, I just think that, um, PK Dragoon doesn't have the playstyle that really disrupts Walken's ability. I think he tries too hard to play Ness like he's a real character against, uh, against Walken, which is definitely not what you want to do. You have to, you, like, you literally have to, like, break it down to the most basic, like, four glory elements. Like, a lot of that... A lot of a lot of PK fire. PK fire is a great move to use against uh, Walken. Like you see that the the down beat of the up air, it looks cool, but there's no substance to it. You gotta simplify it. I'm telling you, yo, listen. You, this is this is a man on the mic right now who has PK fired Walken like five times in a row. You just gotta do it, dog. Like you can't you you can't do it. You can't do it like that. And I, I feel like PK Dragon is is struggling because. He doesn't understand. Personally, I think this is a really good matchup for Ike anyway, but that's beyond the point. Uh, see, look at the, the Nairs. No, 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 no. He's approaching him way too much, too. You can tell. That's gotta, that's gotta be down throw. That's spot dodge. That's spot dodge. Ooh, God. That's the classic Hansel spot dodge. Hansel! He's so bad against this character. He's so bad against Ness, Hansel. Hansel. He's so bad against Ness. Yeah, yeah, I'll bust it out on him. Oh, he going Pac-Man. Oh, he going Pac-Man. He going Pac-Man. Let's go. All right, busting out the Pac. Everybody loves Pac-Man. Yeah, my mom loves Pac-Man. Your mom probably loves Pac-Man. Well, my mom loves Miss Pac-Man, actually. That's beyond the point. Anyway, game two on PS2 once again. We'll see if PK Dragoon can make up for uh, what I would say is a pretty disappointing showing. But Walken has a pretty solid Pac-Man. I mean, not, not a world-beating type Pac-Man, but he has a lot of fun with the character. And usually when a guy has a lot of fun playing the character, it's, it's over for you. And Pac-Man's grab works. So that's always a good thing. It's always good when uh, you know they give you the uh, the basic necessities for your character to exist. Like thank you, Sakurai, for making my grab work. I really appreciate that. Love Pac-Man. Maybe they'll put a Miss Pac-Man in the game one of these days. You know, as like DLC. I I wouldn't pay for Miss Pac-Man, but like, ooh, okay, hit him twice with the fire hydrant. Hell yeah. Let's go. 
get. Oh, you that was definitely supposed to be an up smash. That was yeah, that was that was gonna be a stock and PK Dragoon gonna wanna gonna wanna ride that little wave of momentum he's he's got off that miss input. That's frustrating when you almost get a kill and then you just don't get it. So I suppose we'll see. He's doing a lot of full hopping though, and it caught him one time already. The bell caught him one time already. All Walken has to do is get the bell again. He knows. He's busting out the orange a lot. You know, get percent. It goes straight out, but... Back throw. Not enough. Ooh, is he going to tech it? No! No tech! No tech from Walken. That might have been untackable. You can't be walking. All right, so now he busted out the uh, now he busted out the little airplane. Ooh, big downer from PK Dragon, but it doesn't matter. He's like, hey, you're just gonna upbeat but stronger. So this is definitely uh, oh, all right, we're gonna see how he's gonna do it. No down air, back air instead. Solid, but the the edge guard not there, and it's it's rough because you can definitely see what direction Pac-Man is going. Like he literally draws a line for you. So to miss that edge guard is just beyond the pale. That's gonna take it though. PK Dragon with the down smash on the ledge gets that shit out of here, puts him in the coffin. Game three coming up here, probably on Pokemon Stadium. Honestly, if if I I'm not a betting man. But if I was a betting man, I would bet that um, we'd be doing Pokemon Stadium. Ooh. Ooh. Actually, no. Think about this. I, I, he's going to Yoshi's, and I know why. Ike on Yoshi's is like Ike on Battlefield, but he can also kill you earlier. So, like, that's rough, man. Almost, he almost did it again. All right, so like I'm, like I said before, PK Dragoon definitely has the advantage in this matchup as a, as a player. He just needs to, he just really needs to know what to do, man. Like, right now, he's still trying to PK fire again. He's, he's gonna get hit by it like eight times in a row if you just keep doing it. I know this man. So a fair, yeah. Like honestly, if I'm if I'm playing Nas in this situation, I don't want any part of I don't want any part of what Ike has got going on. If I'm Ike, I'm like, yes, please keep approaching me in the air so I can just hit you with my big. Oh, okay. Down smash on the ledge. PK Dragoon showing a little uh showing a little sauce there, but that's gonna take his stock. That big nair. He went for the grab, but the grab's not free, kiddo. All it takes is one mistake on a, on a platform like that close to the blast zone and you're done. Yo, Xander, you make a better door than a window. I'm trying to watch two matches at once. Okay, forward air coming out. Yeah, he's using he's using a lot of uh, a lot of directional air dodge. I think as a uh, as a recovery tool for Ness, that's fine. Uh, you know, the double jump can be annoying to snap to ledge, whatever, but. I think as a like a general like just sort of getting out of stuff tool. Honestly, a lot of what Ike does is fast enough to uh, is fast enough to just punish that. You know, the directional air dodge does have a lot of lag, so it's rough. Definitely rough. I, if I'm PK Dragon, I don't do that anymore. And oh my god, tried to go for the down air. I understand why. Honestly. Nair would do it just as well, and I think that's gonna give Walken a good opportunity here. Four tilt almost came out and killed him. Not yet though. These two are both even. PK Dragoon off stage, and Walken miss space comes down with the fair gets shield grab. Classic Smash Four Nest type tactic, but he comes right back with the Nair up B. That's that's true ultimate. We just went from Smash Four back to ultimate. Maybe to Smash Four back again. PK 
DK Dragoon doing a, a doing a really good job of challenging uh, Walken in the air, which surprisingly, Walken hasn't really had much of an answer for yet. As long as PK Dragoon gets that aerial out first, he's fine. Not probably not the best path for that PK Thunder. But yeah, he's catching Walken in the air a lot, and that's that's definitely something you want to do. This, this could be really dangerous for PK Dragoon though. He's he's stuck in the corner. Walken, Walken is looking for exactly what PK Dragoon is doing a lot. He's jumping a lot, and now he's off stage. Only thing he can... Oh, he had his jump. Okay. I thought he didn't have a jump, but things are still very scary for both of these players right now. PK Dragoon finally making it back to center stage. Back throw to get stage control. What's he going to do with the edge guard? A PK fire of all things, but another back throw. That's not death yet. PK Thunder to juggle him. And now Walken is the one feeling the pressure, but that's going to do it. PK Dragoon making a lot of mistakes there. Walken capitalizing. Man, 